Hello, I'm Coach Mark and welcome to your Wild Apricot Trial. In this Getting Started video, we're going to build a simple membership website with a custom application form and the ability to receive online payments. Let's begin by first navigating to Members and then Levels. This is where you can set membership fees, subscription periods, renewal policies, and other benefits that a member of your organization would have. Click Add Level, and we will create our first membership level. I'm going to name this level Family. And that's because here's where we can select whether this is an individual membership for a single user or a bundle membership which can be used for organizations, families, or groups. Bundle memberships allow multiple users to share a common renewal date and the administrator is the one who will control the billing. Since this level is applicable to families, I'll make this a bundle and I'm gonna set the limit to five users. Now we'll set the price to $50. On the right, check Public Can Apply. This will allow any visitor of the site to apply for this membership from your website. Now let's go over to the renewal policies. In the renewal policy tab, you're able to customize renewal periods and policies for any of your membership types. For our family membership example, let's make it renew every one year. The system will give you different options on what will happen when a renewal is upcoming or overdue. For this example, let's set that 14 days before the renewal period, it will generate an invoice and email that reminder and the invoice to the bundle administrator. Perfect. Now let's go over to new applications. In new applications, you can set the rules for what happens for your brand new applicants. There are many options for renewal policy and new applications, and if you have time, I recommend exploring these on your own. But let's move on with our example by clicking Save. Congrats, we just set up our first level. Let's set up one more. This time, we're gonna create a single or individual type of membership. So let's click Add Level. We'll name this level Single. And this time, we'll leave it as an individual type. Let's set the price to $12. And of course, we do want the public to be able to apply. So we're gonna click Public Can Apply. Now we'll head to Renewal Policy. Under the Renewal Policy, let's set it to Renew every one year. For now, we'll leave the rest as default, so we'll just click Save. Perfect. Now that we have two levels set up, we can start adding fields. To do this, go to Contacts and Common Fields. Fields are the pieces of information you collect from your users. This information can be used to sort, filter, and report on each user in your database. By default, the system includes information like first name, last name, and email, but you can add as many as you like. To add a new field, click Add New Field. The system will present you options on how you'd like the field to appear and how it can be accessed. For this example, let's make the field titled Birth Date. We're gonna select a date type for this field. And we're gonna set the access so that only other members are able to see this information. Perfect, now let's create one more field. For this field, let's set it as the radio buttons type. We're gonna name it, do you like pizza? And, we do want this information to be required in the application, so we'll check required field. Now we can set the options for our field. 
We're going to write yes and no, and since this is a radio button, the user will only be able to select one of those options. When you're ready, click Save All Changes and we can move on. With the database set up, we can now begin working on our website. So let's navigate to Website and then Site Pages. Here, we can add new pages or edit existing ones. Let's edit the home page. When you edit a site page, you'll be able to make changes to the settings of that page as well. Things like the page name, its URL, and its access restrictions are some examples of the settings you'll be able to adjust. For now, let's go under the gadgets. Gadgets are the building blocks of Wild Apricot site pages. These gadgets tie into your Wild Apricot websites with the settings that you've created in the back end. Best part is, they're all built right into the program. Watch as I drag the membership application gadget over onto my homepage. Right away, the gadget pulls all of the membership levels we created earlier and puts them on the application form. So let's click Save for now. Right now, our site page looks a little boring. Let's try and decorate it a little. Go under the Page Templates, and let's edit the standard template. Site pages are built off page templates, so it's a good idea to put commonly used assets on a page template. For this example, I'm going to add a content gadget and then upload my banner. First, we'll add the content gadget, and then we'll click Image to either upload or select an image from our account. I'm also going to add a menu gadget. The menu gadget will pre-populate a navigation menu based on the site pages on your website. After hitting Save, we can take a look at our work. Well, you can see that the membership application gadget and the new banner that we added are both appearing on our homepage. Going forward, each time we create a site page, we won't have to worry about adding that banner or the menu bar because they exist on the page template. Now, to take online payments, Wild Apricot requires a payment system. So to set that up, under Settings, look for Payment Settings. Here is where you can add your payment system and set restrictions like which credit cards you want to accept and what currency you'd like to bill in. For this example, let's use Wild Apricot Payments. We can select our default country, as well as the currency that we'd like to bill in. If we like, we can add payment instructions that will automatically appear on invoices and anything to do with online payments on your Wild Apricot account. Once we're ready, we can click Save Changes. Now that we've added an online payment system, let's take a look at what our public site looks like. At the top right of your account, look for Public View. This will show you what your website looks like as if you were a non-admin or a member of the general public. Our application form has all of the membership levels we set up earlier. So let's go through them. After we select one, it will show us some of the fields that we created for that membership level. Once an applicant has finished filling in the form and provided all their details, they'll be taken to a screen where they can review what they've done and have the option to either pay online 
or generate an invoice that they can pay offline, such as with cash or a check. You're able to get help at any time with your Wild Apricot account by clicking on the Help Center at the bottom of the page. Clicking on the Help Center will let you search the entire help site for any article or topic that you are interested in. You'll also be able to get in touch with live coaches. Our door is always open, so if there's anything we can do to give you some guidance or help with your Wild Apricot setup, please just get in touch. All of the coaches are free of charge and we're happy to help. In the meantime, we can't wait to see what you do with your site and I hope you're having fun with your Wild Apricot trial. From Coach Mark, from Wild Apricot, and everyone at Personify, thanks for being here. See you soon.